is a live look at Marvis Brazier, who has just entered the ring here in the Glens Falls Civic Center. The record 16 and 1 with seven knockouts. There are the vital statistics on the young man who is attempting to continue his father's legacy in the sport. Now entering the ring, the local favorite, trains and lives in Catskill, New York, has fought so many of his bouts here in the Albany, Troy, New York area. Mike Tyson entering as the warrior, the characteristic no socks, no robe look. Jim, in my opinion, it is not a matter of if Mike Tyson knocks out Marvis Fraser, but it's just a matter of when. I don't think Marvis is overmatched in this fight because of a lack of talent. Since being knocked out by Larry Holmes, he has reestablished himself as a heavyweight to be contended with, with wins as we saw earlier over the likes of Quick Tillis and Bone Crusher Smith. He can fight. The reason I and a lot of other people don't think he can win against Tyson is the fact that his style is made to order for Mike. Like his father, Marvis relies on pressure and stamina and intensity to beat an opponent, but that aggressiveness is just perfect for a bomber like Mike Tyson. Remember, as great as Joe Fraser was, when he faced a tremendous power man like George Foreman, he got bounced around the ring like a rubber ball. His pressure style was suicidal against Foreman, and I think that's the case here today with Marvis and Mike Tyson. As an amateur, Marvis did show ability as a boxer, and he does have that tremendous heart of a Fraser. And there are people who think that if Marvis can move and, and survive the early rounds, Mike Tyson will get tired and frustrated as he did against Quick Tillis. But Tyson is now confident in his ability to go 10 rounds when he saw against Mitch Keenan. I don't see that as a problem. All right, very quickly, let's look at the tail of the tape. You will see that Frazier has a reach advantage of about six inches, which will probably be nullified if he comes forward toward Tyson as we expected. Round one is about to begin. The referee is Joe Cortez. In New York State, scoring is done by three judges. The referee does not score. Scoring on the round system, supplemental four-point uh, scoring system if the rounds wind up even. And the three-knockdown rule is in effect. Tyson comes out slugging. He comes out smoking like Marvis's father, Joe. Marvis must move or we're going to be out of here very, very quickly. Uppercut and Marvis is hurt. Cortez moves in to have a look, and he's going to stop the fight. It did not last 20 seconds. Tyson goes over to take a look at Marvis Frazier, obviously quite concerned. A terrific uppercut. The same punch with which Tyson knocked out Jesse Ferguson the first time you saw him here on ABC Sports. Watch the uppercut, the right uppercut. We're going to show it to you in just a moment. Jim right Jacobs. now, there is Jim Jacobs, yes. Old manager of Mike Tyson talking to him. 30-second knockout sensation. Watch the right hand of Mike Tyson. Marvis in the corner and trapped. There it was. Just clipped him right on the chin. The left was unnecessary. Marvis is badly hurt at this point. Uppercut again. And there, Marvis is out on his feet. Everything after this is just incidental. 